Me la voy a dar toda a un VIP, un VIP. Hey, saluden a Titi. Baila, baila, dance, dance. Sí, que me asco. So, where are we coming from? Yeah. Where are we coming from? Say, we're coming from the doctors. We're coming from the doctors. Because I had to take my COV ID. Because, because I had a Girl, doctor. you know how to smell. So, we're just coming from the doctors. Because I completely forgot Scarlett had a, like her last COVID shot. Um, so yes, we're just coming. Now you have to pee. So I'm just waiting for parking because, you know, if you're from New York, you know the struggle. And you want me to call Honda Mini to come and get you? But let me be back. Let me call someone to come and pick her up for her to go pee because she has to go to pee now. So see you in a, in a bit. So you guys, today's Saturday, I'm cooking, it's like rainy outside, it's like a good weather. Today I didn't wake up in a good mood, I woke up a little bit bluey. Can I ask my tree? One, two, three, jump. Excuse me, my tree was bad. <laughs> I don't Get out of here. Ah, don't throw it on the floor. So I'm cooking, I already did some hot chocolate. Uh, we already had white rice, no, so um, I made a soup. No, no, You're hitting no, me, girl. No, You're hit te voy a coger cucharón y todo un cucharazo. Um, <laughs> so let me show you guys what I did. Okay. So this is some fajitas with um chicken and mushroom and a little bit of beef, and then I did some soupy mm -hmm. and the white rice which i don't know why it looks like that and i'm gonna be doing some pizza and some dumplings and french fries and i'm gonna do some carne asada i think it's called well. so as a plan for today is a little chill day it's a day where i'm just gonna stay at home so yeah i look super far Hi. well you guys need to see the visuals of this you guys need to see the visuals look at that look at the visuals oh my that mm. I even have zucchini, carrots, um, cabbage in there. Uh, yeah, look how good that looks. Oh my god, that looks good. Mm -mm -mm. That looks really yummy. This video went from being like a, a daily vlog to doing a Shein haul. I got these things because it was Black Friday. And I was like, you know what? Let me just like buy. Like let let me just try because I have so long without shopping at Shein. Like so long. But I was like, you know, like they were giving I think I believe it was 85% on Black Friday. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me just buy things like for, for Austin, Scarlett and me. Cause so I was like let me just let me just see let me let me just let me just buy things so i'm gonna show you guys what i bought every time i show something i'm gonna put it like on the screen that way if you guys like it like that way you could just go so this is the first thing i bought is this actually is a set it's like the the little pants with the little sweatshirt so this is outfit number one then this one she was in love with this one she loved this one because this one is so cozy i'll buy myself this one because the material i don't know if you could tell but it's like the the teddy bear material is this one again with pants and shirts every time i shop for like for myself or or for my kids i always like to shop in sets because i feel like when you buy things in set you could like make two different outfits you know what I'm trying to say? Or I, I would, sometimes even three. So that's why I buy like that. I bought these shirts because on the picture that I saw, like the outfits that were there, um, it was so cute. It gave me some outfits idea for her. Now this one, this one, this one. I feel like this is so cute. This is so cute. And the way she looks with it is so adorable, this one. Um, I like the material. The material is, is really thick. I'm not. I'm. I'm not complaining. It's really thick. 
oh and and the materials of the shirts too it's like it is see-through but i'm used to always putting like a, like a tank 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 top like one of these under scarlet shirt it doesn't matter if it's like for school for going out i got her used to always wearing something underneath so for me that's not a prop but this one is not this one i was like i need a now I ha i'm gonna buy this in every color for her because i love how it looks on her i love how it looks on her i love and i love the material you know like this is so good like for winter and like um falls you know like on a rainy day just like being cozy or whatever i love i love to see her in big baggy clothes i don't know why um, i love seeing her like that and i actually bought her these um two next outfits i actually bought them because every christmas <clears throat> i love for um us like to match what we are wearing this year's colors are gonna be like white and like this like tan brownish you know like the fall color but in brown this these actually i i love it i i love these two i'm girl it's a white all white shirt it is really see-through of course we know it's long i love the fact that it's like it gives like these wavy little it's so cute it's so cute i love it i really love it and then is this one and then like on top of this one she wears to wear this vest which i love the dish is like on the side i love it because i feel like that's so cute on her now this one is so cute now for the price and the material of this i feel like sheen is getting places it's getting places it's getting places it's so cute and it comes with a little hat it comes with a little beanie top on when she tried it on she looked so adorable so adorable again the material in this is like it's a thick material on the outside it looks like like that i don't know if you if you guys could see like the type of material it is there you go you can see the material now let's get into austin's clothes this is my deal with this kid right if you don't follow me on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram thank you please <laughs> bye if you don't follow me on instagram it's I have said multiple times right he's about to turn three months in like five four days right but this dude weights 19 pounds already and he's tall and chubby when i got these clothes i was like okay let me wear them 12 to 18 months 18 months to 4, 24 months 9 to 12 months because in my head i was like you know what let me just like order things in a bigger size because he's getting big but i didn't realize <laughs> I didn't realize that Shein took the size seriously. If you see this, right, you will say that that's super huge for a three-month-old baby. Because this clothes is for 12 to 18 months. Let me see if you guys can see it. 12 to 18 months clothes, right? I put it on him. And the only problem I had was that it was too long from the sleeves and the pants. Let me tell you. And the pants. But from here, and from here, like the the width, 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 something like that. It was good. He didn't have no problem from here, like from here. He only had a problem from here. So you know what I'm dealing with, right? Let's just show the outfit, right? Because I think I, I don't have to keep explaining myself because you, you see the point. So this is number one. So I wanted to get this one because I was a little bit, I don't know. Because remember that I told you that for this Christmas, we're all going to match, right? But since this is first Christmas, I wanted to make it like a little bit special. Which is like Patrick, me, and Scarlett was going to wear like all white. And then he was going to wear this, right? Because my, my Christmas tree is like white and, and red. But it's like I still don't know. But that's why I got this. I didn't get it because of nothing special. Got them. I got him these, right? It's a pack of three, which is white, then red, red baby blue and then gray of course again we only had a problem on how long it was but other than that good gray the material on the inside is like this on the outside is really soft it's a really soft material and it is see-through but he's a boy then we got him this one which i was like yeah i want to like to wear something like this because now i have a boy so hello i could do that these are the pants again the same material as the as the other set there you go they are kind of see-through but again 
for me that's not a problem look at the shirt mama's boy mm, i get a brag now i have like a boy and a girl again look these are like joggers these are not sweats these are like the the joggers and i it be like some pockets what the fuck are you gonna put in there and look at the little jacket that comes with it there you go same and then here you can actually see that it's not like a see-through material in the inside it is kind of thick like like hard and this one is a thick one but yeah that's so cute another set the pants there it says future love it. it's the same material as the other ones a little bit see-through and then this is the sweater i think i saw this on like a, an adult size for patch like for men and I'm thinking of getting it for him. That way they can match and be like super cute. Look, this one is the, the one I actually picked for him for um December. That way he can match with us. But it's humongous. It's huge. So it's like I don't know if I should like just leave it like that and then just like fold it a little bit on like for him to like be able to to like match with us. I do like it. I really really like it and it comes with a little beanie. But I'm um, yes. Uh, the material on this one is really soft. It's like a really like a like a sweatery material. We all know if you stretch it, of course it's gonna be see through. Cause hello, you know what I mean. But um, other than that, I really like it. I, so this is my hair. Last night I cut four fingers out of my hair, like like going like this. That's what I mean. Because. I'm in the mood to let my hair grow. Not in the mood, but I set a goal. I was like, I want to see how long I could go without cutting, like not cutting my hair, but like taking a lot of care of my hair and just letting it grow out. I don't know if you could tell, but I have like a damn mama. My baby's sick. Mm -hmm. She said we went to the yard yesterday. It was a mess. That that shit was packed. People were. I don't know what's going on. And I hate how the school doesn't do nothing about it. Like she Scarlett has been getting sick consistently now, like every week. Yeah, and it was noisy. Yeah. In the school. So, back to my hair. So I've been on this mission that. It's like I don't want to do nothing to my hair. That's why I, I got the um the black dye because I feel like every time I dye my hair black, my hair out of nowhere there's like my hair feels like it's, it has strength, like it's it's good. And since I had the blonde for like two three years, I was like, okay, it's time for me like to recover my hair. I always do this every time like I do something that has to do with bleach. It's like. After that, it's like I go like a really long time without doing it to let my hair grow, to let my hair get the strength, get my, fix my hair. So that's what I have been doing. And my goal was before I got pregnant, I was like, okay, for this, um, like the summer that passed, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna last like from one summer to another to see how long I could go. Um, came to find out that this summer mm, i was pregnant so i was like so i actually took that time and i was like conditioning my hair i was taking good care of my hair and it got pretty long long <laughs> it got pretty long it got pretty long 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 actually it was like all the way up to like my 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 my, my booty it was pretty long but it was a type of long they had like a lot of like um split ends and all that stuff so I have always done this thing, which I don't know if it's okay for me to do, but I've always done it. So I take like scissors, right? And I just like go through all of my like split ends and I try to cut them like individually. I always do that. And I feel like that have helped my hair way much more than I thought it would do. So yesterday I was conditioning my hair. I put like oil and all that stuff in my hair and came to find out that i had split ends like not a lot but to the point where it's like if i like what if i have my hair completely straight and you see me pass walk you will see my hair like you will see like the end being like mm, a little bit not cute so what i did was uh i told my mom to cut four fingers out of my hair 
and that's what I did. I cut four fingers out of my hand, my head, my hair. I feel like this is gonna be like our hair journey. You're gonna see my hair. Okay, I'm gonna come back when. So I'm sorry I had to put you guys so up. So not up, but you know, that's the only thing I had. This is my hair. But yeah, that's me. Uh, this is the end of the video. Um, I don't even know what's going to be the title of this video. It's Laura's Heck in the house. Everybody's here. Everybody got from school, from work. Everybody's here. Um, again, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry that this is such a mess. This video is all over the place, but I feel like you guys need, like, I needed to catch up with you guys in order for you guys to understand why I haven't been vlogging that much. Um, I'm gonna just, like, put everything in one video, in one video, and anything that doesn't have an explanation, I feel like I'm gonna just do it now since I'm editing and I'm doing all that stuff. So, um, please cope with me and, and, and try to help me out here. Um, Again, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, subscribe, um, follow me on Instagram, please. That will help me a lot because I'm trying to grow my Instagram. Um, and that will be it, guys. That will be it. Thanks so much for watching.